Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the O2 London, Mr. Bob Williams. Introducing in the red corner from Zagreb, Croatia, Ivica Bakurin. From Brixton, and the body snatcher, Dylan Wine. We'll go to the further corner and stay there. Defend yourselves at all times, touch gloves. Yes, let's see how Dylan White comes back from defeat last December. When he first round then against Ivica Bakurin of Croatia, who's a tough nut. He'll need to be. Shoulder because surgery, he said it was just a complete mess. And he's been with his new training team, Mark Tibbs, and the uh, the veteran, Jimmy Tibbs. And talking to Dylan in the week, Jim, he said he's, he's just got a different attitude as well. Just, just that little taste of the big He's got the talent, potentially, to go a very long way indeed. But no, he certainly has a future, and uh, you know, he added to his record. So this is just probably a, a tester here, test out the, the, the He's going to have to be patient, I think, uh, with this fellow. This fellow shifty. A lot of hard. He's been stopped three times once by Jonathan Banks, a real hard-hitting heavyweight who's best known. He's stopped him as well. Dimitri Kudryashov, who's been uh, sparring with Dominic Brazil. And Tony Bellew, we saw that last year. Got him in the tenth and last. Some confidence in that left shoulder. He said those first four weeks of camp after he'd had the careful of with the shoulder injuries is missing the punches. You know, if you're, if you're throwing the jab yourself, or well, the shoulder is taking the strain of that. He's done that in, in the dressing room. He wants to do it in the fight as well. Just one self there. That was a kind of hopeful swing there. That virtually, Chris Eubank Jr. on the bill as well, Connor Ben, and a look here. And we've got plenty of praise in his corner from Mark Tibbs. He's loved his enthusiasm, loved his passion, and he said, we're just working on everything, just time. But uh, I think it's more important that he takes his time, patient type fight. So just don't be in too much of a hurry to get this one over. He went the distance with Francesco Pianetta. The Italian who's based in Germany, who's had a couple of shots at the world in the best performance of his career. And again, his hand that White was looking to throw there. It's getting tougher, the job just starts getting uh, heavier. Yeah, White's doing the right things, he's getting them so close, you know, he's not swinging from... Lots of plans have been uh, penciled in, and again, he's loading up a little bit here still, Dylan White, with that and right. And swings from White without any great problem, there you go. Forward to meanwhile back to this one. This eight round heavyweight affair, Dylan White. Be interesting to see how he does respond as well. Bakuri withstand a full blown clean shot from an 18 stone man. That'll be uh, a real. <laughs> just loading up. Well, Mark Tibbs, while we were away, was talking about slide and glide, cut down that ring. <laughs> Also showing a little faint before you go to work, you know, try to, to force the, the, the Again, neat little counters there from Bakuri. Now you can see these right hand leads uh, from White to... Uh, from... This man is Mark. Mark. Four. Jonathan Banks out in Germany before that, and I think he felt that he was more a star of Mark Tibbs, which obviously the main client for Banks was not. Well, an experience. He's just going to have to be more careful as he comes forward because he's been calling punches on here. Maybe he should be paying this little fellow a little bit more respect than he's been doing. Well, yeah, been... The big problem Bakurin has got, of course, is that well, again, there's another one of those swinging hooks missing again, as it has done all night. That one landed. Again, that was very crude from White, that swinging, clubbing right hand. Just a little bit too hopeful with the right hand, and he's missing badly with it again. British heavyweights watching this with interest, got him with the uh, the straight left there. Oh, the good right with the jab. And a nice, clever little raid there from Bakurin. Yeah, well, they're going to have Dylan White out again at the uh, Leeds show at the end of July. There's talk of him meeting David Allen, White and Chisora. I've had a few verbal spars as well, so a lot going on in the...
All is a bit... Um, all a bit more rough and ready at times. That's what earned Dylan White are telling off. Seconds up. Round. Fast here at the start of round five, and that right hand landed clean. Very Just the size of the job should be getting to Bakuran now, and uh, but maybe and White should be able to start taking advantage of that. Maybe bringing punches up through the middle would be a better idea. I mean, he's missed so often with the overhand. That's it, that's the right one. Right there, right on cue. Now he's starting to swinging right hooks onto the body. One upstairs got through there, and that's brought her a new set. The tempo that White should be setting there, he's bringing up the punches up again. That's working well. Stick with that. And for the first time in the fight, signs that Bakurin is starting to really find this a bit heavy going. Now that's anything you want, but he is feeling this. And the stuffing is starting to come out of it. Well, you're on the defence of the whole time. It's got to be... He's landed a lot with the right hands, but he's just looking very, very watchful, moving, dancing around the ropes, trying to stay out of trouble here, and then giving him no breathing room at all. And Bakurin again, looking to cling on. White gets through with the right hand. Is Bakurin now that he maybe agreed to this over the six round distance? Now nah, he's just there. Uh... He's running out of steam. And you think for Evika Bakurin? Hey. It's been a gutsy effort, because he's been really... Point deduction there, uh, just to keep himself in there, but not. He's slowing down now, he was dealing with earlier in the fight. He's not dealing with him now. Uh, taking charge now. Second up, round six. In 2011, Ivica Bakurin, that was in the sixth round of eight. I think right now put on this ending in six because he's ready to go. That was a delayed reaction, even though it's been ruled more a slip. push. But that big swinging hook of uh, White steps left here. It's not going to take much to get rid of him, but it's got to be a bit better than that. And find the punches. A good right hand. The body shot. He is gritty and he's got a big heart, I I do much more than just hold and spoil now, does he? And you can't blame him. The fact is, a couple of full rounds ahead of him. I'm just wondering if he can hang on in there much longer. Ten in his own corner and looking to try and get out of there. He's had so many warnings for holding up at this point. He's academic anyway. Now, this around. is the time to bring the punches through the middle. No, I get so a right. That is a beautiful swinging right hand to go. Bob Williams has reached eight and wants to know he's done. Well, Dylan White emulates Jonathan, loses focus. He stayed with it and eventually yeah, is superior. White looked clumsy and some of the right hands he was throwing really were kind of hopeful shots, but the, the final right hand didn't be in there any longer. The, the, the job was just too big. He'd been warned several times for holding and that was the only thing that was Even going to get got up then. I would have expected the corner maybe to throw in the towel because it was one way traffic, too cleanly. Beautiful right hand that finished the job. Yeah, one final look at it. Well, he said he wanted some rounds. He wanted to test that. And remember, this is still a novice. You know, this is just his. Zillion White! Gets the win. Credit to Ivica Bakurin.